Yeah, so that sucks. So I've started packing. Rather, I'm pulling out everything I need to pack, and I have a helper. Thank you for sitting on the white costume. Very helpful. So this is most of my stuff, other than like toiletries and makeup and stuff. Um, that I will probably grab whatever I can after I have some lunch. And, but like a lot of it I can't pack until tomorrow morning or tonight. So we've got costumes, got like Rose here, Ivan is over there, behind my laptop, by the way I like have gotten really into watching makeup videos on YouTube. I, I don't know. I'm like not the most person into makeup. That didn't make sense. Um, I'm not super, super into makeup, but I've gotten more into it like over the past year or so. But behind my laptop, I've got some stuff that I'm gonna wear tomorrow. So I'm gonna set that aside. Just like a, a very casual diva outfit from Overwatch. And then over here, we've got Colette. Dylan is still sleeping on top of some extra boxes with my like stuff that gets misplaced easily like belts and my rose handkerchief and below that is some like stuff for uh, Colette her necklaces and yeah so I've got most of everything packed other than Futaba because I need to like go through it right now um I end up using <laughs> yes see Colette I end up using an app that helps me pack I'll probably go into this in like a actual video about packing. I used to use pen and paper for packing lists, but then you have to like make a new one every time. So I decided just an app that I can reuse will save me like a couple minutes every year. So an update. Um, we're not totally sure that driving tomorrow is the safest option, at least coming from where we live. I think DC is going to be okay past the morning. So we're actually gonna head over there tonight. My family lives in Maryland, so they're not too, too far away. They're maybe like an hour away from National Harbor, Maryland. So it's pretty convenient. We're just gonna go stay with my dad and my sister. So I'm packing up some makeup now trying to figure out what I can bring to the convention without like going too ham. I finished up my packing and I've got just like a couple things to fit into my backpack. I ran out of space in my suitcase. I, I like honestly need to get a bigger one for cons, especially for like MAGFest because I also packed winter clothing to change into so it's like bulky stuff. And I've got like wigs and a wig stand stuff in here along with like some props and things. Makeup's gonna go in there.
My first impression of MAGFest is that it seems a lot smaller than Katsukon, which is not a bad thing. Maybe it's just because it's the first day and it's like super chill. Maybe it's just like the crowd of MAGFest. I went to this con last in 2010 and it was also very, it was much smaller then, but it was very chill still. Um, there are fewer cosplayers here, which I already knew about. Like, Katsukon is like the big cosplay con, and I'm a little sad about missing it this year, but also like February is going to be a busy month, so we figured we'd save money and like be maybe a little less stressed out by not going. So I wasn't like in costume today, so maybe I'm just like, oh, I miss cosplay because I wasn't in costume today. Like, I mean, I was in like my diva cash, cash diva outfit plus a scarf because it's really freaking cold outside. Today I mostly just like checked out a bunch of the indie video games, which was really cool. We got to like see some uh, games that aren't finished, like stuff that's gonna come out this year and next year. Got to give feedback to a few developers, which was really cool. Um, I saw some games that I don't personally enjoy, but I thought they were cool. Like I just don't like puzzle games or that many platformer games because I'm bad at them. That's why I don't like them. I uh, went to a few concerts. Um, one I enjoyed, one I didn't like as much just because it like wasn't quite my thing. Uh, but it's like super cool. Like there's just a bunch of music events happening like all the time at MAGFest. And I've never had that at any other con I've been to. So that is super exciting and I'm like really jazzed for it. So it's only the first day. There is still a lot to see. I'm actually cosplaying for the rest of the weekend. This is like very relaxed weekend chill con. So I'm looking forward to what the rest of the weekend brings.